using static files and templates. So from here, let's open up Visual Studio Code. Now one of the things is we've already got the Django folder on our computer, so I can open this folder, scroll down to it, go into it, and select. Now, I'm not going to use the first project. What I'm going to do is from here in the terminal, as you can see from here, if I do an ls, that will show first project. We're going to create a second project. So from here, we're going to go Python, Python M, virtual environment, second project. As such, this will create our new folder inside here. So this is the one we'll be paying attention to. Once that's done, we'll want to turn on the virtual environment. Go dot slash second project scripts activate that as such then we want to go into second project and now here we want to add in our app yeah we can stick with the same site one now okay so we'll just stick with site one here then we can go into site one do an ls that's our managed pi so let's run that up just to make sure it's working so go python manage pi run server Okay, so it's saying it's not imported, so let's run through the import stage inside here because sometimes things get confused. Alrighty, so let's go Python, Python M pip install Django. Cool, and now let's see if we can run up our server. There we go, so our site serves up, migrations haven't happened. If we click on this guy here, our browser is ready and waiting for us. So, notice this issue. Sometimes if it doesn't find Django, you just gotta reinstall it inside the virtual environment. So, from here, what we wanna do now is we wanna cancel that, do our migration, so cancel here, and let's go migrate, as such. Excellent, now we'll add in our new app. So here we're going to use start app and we will call this one prime, we'll call this one matrix just so it's different. Okay, so if we look inside our second project, there's our matrix stuff here and here's our site one here. So as before, what we want to do is we want to start modifying the views. So we go into here, let's change this out. So from here, we're going to from Django.http. We want to import HTTP response find index. So the reason why we're doing it like this and we're basically repeating what we did in the last one is because we want to make sure the system works before we start adding extra stuff to it. So we return HTTP response and here we'll go index. So if that pops up, we know it's working. And we'll end up changing this page in a little bit anyway. So we'll save that. We now have to create our URLs file, urls.py. And then in this guy here, from django.urls import path. And then from dot, this is where the dot, ah, new line. All right, <laughs> from dot import uh, what are we looking again views the views and then here we put in our URLs pattern your URL patterns equals like so Get path bracket the default path for this URL views dot index comma name equals index with a comma save that and if you recall correctly from here now what we want to do is we want to go into our site one settings uh, sorry site one URLs at the end of our path we want to put in include and then after this we want to go path bracket matrix 
do an ending slash comma uh, let's see include bracket matrix dot URLs with a comma at the end of it and save that let's run up the site excellent so that's up and running site still running in the background so here slash matrix index excellent so we now have our site up and running our secondary site up and running so now how do we do static pages and so forth to do that what we want to do is we want to create some folders so inside the site one folder we want to create a new folder all the templates now from here the templates is where we'll end up putting things like index.html and so forth but to make it active we need to go into our site one then down into a settings file here and if we scroll down a little bit there it is there's our directories inside here we have to put this directory here so we've got to put templates as well so we have templates here make sure you put it inside single quotes save that when you save it notice the server itself responds and says you've done something let me just reload now inside here let's create a inside the templates i should say let's create a new file we'll call this guy index.html we'll put it that and let's see we'll make it nice and easy and we'll just go h1 and we'll go matrix p and we'll put some long text in it Alt Z, word wrap. Okay, nothing exciting, just a very simple uh, page in this particular point. What happens is that we've got to tell the matrix view that we don't want to return just the word index. We want to actually return and render this actual page. So to do that, now we need to bring in the render capability. So we bring in Django dot shortcuts import render and then we can comment this guy out and then we can go return render bracket to request when somebody requests this particular URL we can return index.html and say let's have a look that's because it counts for return return render and request should have a comma, not an M. Typos are gonna be part of life. Save it. There we go, so now that's popped up. So now if we take a look here at our browser and we refresh, here's our code. If I go to view page source, this is our HTML kicking in. Okay, so now that's how we access a template. So every page that you wanna create, you can do like this. Now, this is one this is just getting the content in a html page set up what we want to do is we want to do our best to make things look better so here in our site settings and if we go into settings here if we scroll down a little bit you'll see we have this thing called a static url so static files this is where we're basically talking css javascript javascript and images and so forth to use this what we have to do is we have to tell the system that we need you to use the OS capability, import OS. Okay, so this means the system will know how to navigate the operating system we're on. Let's come back down here to our static, down, 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 into here. And what we want to do is we want to tell the system where our static files are. So make sure you spell it correctly. So we go static files underscore directories equals square bracket base underscore directory slash static with a comma okay so what this is basically saying that we're now going to create a static file where we can store our css and images and so forth so this is all occurring inside our matrix stuff so if we um let's let's pull this up like this 
sorry, not next, not in our matrix, in our project itself. So it's next to the matrix, I should have said. So right click up here, new folder, static. Inside here, let's create a new folder, CSS. And inside CSS, let's go style.css. And we can create a new folder here, and we'll just call this guy images. So you can see inside static, two folders, one file at the moment. We'll get another image in a second, but at the moment, we'll just play with it a little bit. Created our style.css. So let's do something. Now, this isn't going to be very exciting because it's going to be very quick and simple. So let's go margin zero, padding zero, box sizing blue box, X hidden. Got a H1. So let's change the color on silk. And then let's give it a little bit more height, font size. Um, let's change to 3M and we'll change the family. Font, font family, Arial, it's a nice clean one. And then with our P, let's give it a line height of 1.5M and font size of 1.2M and a font family. You always want to change stuff here to the system one for the body text, mainly because it makes life a little bit easier. On the body tag, body tag, body tag, let's give it a background. Looks better if you use the word background. Background color, black. There, let's turn this here into white. Let's go color, white. Okay, we'll save that. So what we've got now is we've got our styles created for this index page, but we still have to link this up. We'll also put an image to get an image. If I go back to my page, one of the best things to do is jump into this illustrations from Undraw. Okay, so let's take this new image. And we can take a copy of that. Then from here, I can go into my Django system in my second project into my site, into my static, into my images, and paste. And we'll just change the name to pick. So it's an SVG. Reason for it choosing SVG is it's very small, which means it should be fast to load. So we'll close that off, jump back into here. If we look, there's our pick listed here. So now we've got a style, we've got an image. If we go to our index page, now we want to tell this page to access the static. To do that, what we want to do is we want to put in open close curly braces and inside 2% symbols, we want to tell it to load static. So this tells the system, go look for our static files because we need to do something here. Now, from here, we're going to do a link CSS and let's throw in type equals text slash CSS. Now the pathing, this is the one where we need to pay a little more attention to. So in here, we can open that and then we'll close it off like this. So things start to match. Now, remember, we've got it inside the static, inside the CSS. So here we're turning the system inside static. Look for the CSS folder and the CSS style like so. And we'll do the exact same thing with the image itself. We'll come down here and then the standard image. Same kind of thing. So our image source is static and what do we put it we put it inside images slash pick dot svg close that off alt SV, oh, svg image and save now if things have gone according to plan <laughs> right so the website's rebuilt and so forth we come back to here and we refresh our matrix page there we go we now have a site with images and styles all working.